Hello there, fish friends. This is the Aqua Student, and welcome to my 135 gallon development series. I have with me here the 135 gallon. I have been putting a little bit of work in with the razor blade and cleaning off the glass. Uh, it's as I mentioned in the announcement video, this tank used to be a saltwater setup, so there was a little bit of salt creep built up and, and some sort of uh, uh, marine algae on the inside of the glass, but that was nothing for the razor blade. It's amazing how much a fresh blade helps. So I don't think this tank's going to hold water anymore, but that's not a bad thing. I've pretty much removed all the silicone. I'm going to go over it one more time with the razor blade. I'll get all the last little bits up, clean it up, then go over all the edges with the rubbing alcohol. That'll remove any of the oils that my hand would have left on the surface. It'll give the new silicone a nice clean surface to bond to, and we should be good to go. So here we have it, the tank's all nice and cleaned up. Got it taped up and ready to silicone. What I'm gonna do is go around the, put a nice big bead around the whole length of the tank, go through with some silicone gloves, or sorry, latex gloves on, smooth it out, and then remove the tape to give a nice clean finish. So I have my lovely assistant here, Kevin, who's gonna help me with re-siliconing the tank. Let's get started. Next step, painting. First thing I'm gonna do, clean off the glass. It's already pretty clean, but just get any more oils that might be stuck on there. I'm gonna tape up the edges, get a nice clean, clean line to it, and then paint. Let's get started. Bang, and there we have it. This is 135 gallon, all cleaned up, ready to go. Got the background painted, looks all nice and snazzy and professional. Let me tell you, painting the background really makes a huge difference. Uh, it's much nicer than the tape on, whatever the plastic sheets that you can get at, at the fish store or wrapping paper or anything like that. This, it's really easy to do, cheap, and uh, it looks great. It, it won't peel, and if you ever want to change it, it'll come right off with a razor blade. I was cleaning up some of the spots that kind of splashed over and it comes right off. So, I'm very happy with the way this is looking. Uh, the next step in the process is to prepare the stand. I want to get the stand all cleaned up and painted, then put the tank on top of it, which will put it in the, or I'll put it in the location that it's going to be. That way everything, when I do the test fill, is going to be exactly as is. It'll be a little frightening doing it indoors, but I don't really have a choice, but it shouldn't be too difficult, and uh, with a little bit of monitoring, uh, I'm confident that um, no leaks are going to happen, and if they do happen, I'll be able to handle them. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and stay tuned for more.